It's LeBron at power forward with AD as the center. D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. And it's Achimura in at the small forward. And for the Celtics, White and Brown are the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. Coming down the home stretch here, almost to the finish line, Doris. Truly an exciting part of the year. Well, exciting for us, B.A., but it can be a bit anxiety-producing for some of these teams, depending on where your team sits. This could be one of the most uncomfortable portions of the season. Are you in the playoffs? Do you have to go to the play-in? Do you like your matchup? There's a lot of questions at this time of year. And Davis has got the ball here for the Lakers. Their last encounter was in Boston, where they were able to handle the Celtics. The last time they faced this team, they were very aggressive, found numerous ways to get themselves to the line. Outside White. Pass to Tatum. Here's Porzingis. Now here's Holiday. Kick out to Brown. Let's the three fly. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Boy, you catch the defense off guard by being willing to fire as soon as the ball touches your hands. Tatum against James. Can't get it to drop. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Brown. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Brown's got five points. Yeah, Jalen Brown working in that mid-range area. This guy knows it's got to be a part of your game. James deciding where to go with it. From seven. Here's Davis. Rebound Boston. Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. Here's Reeves. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Pass to Davis. Over Holiday. Just five to shoot. Nifty move. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, the muscle Davis has added aids him on these tough finishes, showing off that big boy strength. Doris, you think about how the Celtics are built. They make shrewd personnel choices year after year. They have historically drafted very well. I think the challenge for the Boston Celtics and all organizations, the new implications of the salary cap and player personnel deal. Building teams may look different going forward. And injuries have played a serious role in the career of Anthony Davis. But when he's healthy, he's a top 10 player in this league. You just hope for his sustained health. Now here's Brown. Five points in the game. Well, Doris, when he's off the court, Jalen Brown is an outspoken advocate for education. What I love about Jalen B.A. is that he's about so much more than basketball. This young man has a passion for learning. It's a very admirable cause he has tried to be outspoken for. You love the superstar level effort between the lines and outside the lines. That free throw misses. You think about what Jalen Brown brings to the table. Elite athleticism, three-point shot making, attacking the rim in transition, so much to like. He hits the second from the line. Russell with the ball. He played a great game against New Orleans. He takes it in. 
Good work defensively by White. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Now here's Russell, and he's been a big part of their offense, averaging more than 18 points a game. Sends it home from three-point land. Boy, this guy's such an instinctive passer. D'Angelo Russell could average double-digit assists if he wanted to. Holiday against Russell. Now here's Holiday. He's closely guarded. Controls the rebound and the putback. Woo, hard work creating the second chance opportunity. James against Tatum. James, that's good. James has got his second basket. Well, it's simply going to take more of an effort than that to deter LeBron James. The strength and the skill set are overpowering. Now here's Tatum. Impressive scoring stats with around 27 points a game. Pass to Holiday. With the 10-footer. Again, the Celtics good for two more. Yeah, good execution in close. Holiday likes mixing things up and finishing from this area. Hachimura outside. That shot's good. Russell making the play. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. They trail by one. And again, Boston with the triple. How about the answer from Jason Tatum? Say it with your chest, Jason. Outside Russell. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Hachimura against Brown. Good on the shot. Brown's got eight. Well, at six foot seven, this is a forward Jalen Brown who handles it well, cuts his way right through the defense. Russell against Holiday. Offensive board. And that one's good. James. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Pass to Tatum. Now here's Porzingis. Check by Davis. Porzingis passes to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. And the Celtics another three. With balance and good rhythm, Holiday serves as an effective catch and shoot player. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. And let's check out the 2K leaderboard and see which players have been leading in blocks since the All-Star break. In the third spot, Anthony Davis. Tough to take the ball inside against him. His focus right now is at another level. 
The Lakers have gone 6 of 11 so far. Here's Russell. And finished off by Davis. And you really can't sleep on Davis's length, especially on the offensive glass. Boston has gone 3 of 3 from outside and looking sharp here in the first. Outside Tatum. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from James. Los Angeles has gone two of two at the perimeter. Out left to the wing. Russell from outside. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. And this game is tied up now. The Celtics have got eight out of 12 shots to fall. To the inside. Here's Holiday. Davis with a rebound. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. And slam dunk by James. Oh, stop it. That one just too easy for LeBron James. So high above the rim. Russell against Holiday. And Davis with the block. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. And the basket by Achimura. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Brown against Russell. Outside Tatum. Looking to end the run. And it's blocked by Davis. No chance. Davis just too much to handle on the defensive side. Outside Tatum. James with the rebound. James has got four rebounds now. Pass to Russell. And here's Davis. That shot's good. Russell making the play. Russell's got three assists tonight. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. And Boston calls time here. They defeated Washington in their last game. And you know they had a great plan going into that one. And then made the right adjustments along the way. I thought their game plan was really spot on. And we saw that in their scoring more than anything else. And some changes here for the Celtics. Tillman's checked in for Porzingis. Horford comes in for Jason Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for Holiday. Vincent's checked in for the Lakers. Now here's White. No made baskets yet. Hachimura against Brown. Pass to Horford. Four on the clock. Uh, this is a, an example of Al Horford's such a difficult cover. He's tall, he's long, and he utilizes all of that to his advantage. And Grant, you look at the longevity of Horford's career. He's done a great job reinventing himself. You know, B.A., he added the three to his game once he hit 30, and that has extended his career by changing how he plays. He still can be an X-factor on any given night.
The first free throw is good. When you think about Al Horford, you think about a guy who entered the league with a maturity beyond his years. And now consider, guys, we've been talking about high-level play for over a decade in the NBA. What a career. Horford hits them both. Now, here is James. And in that win against the Pelicans, he was a major factor as well. For three. And it's Tillman with a rebound. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Pritchard. To the middle. And the basket by Tillman. Both teams are hot. Woo! This is a fun one to watch. Well, you love it when you can get off to a fast start offensively. You hate it, though, when your opponent does the same. Now here's Hachimura. An 11-point game for him in the win against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. That free throw, good from James. What's remarkable about LeBron is the complete command of the game. Not only his team, but you'll hear opponents joke about how well he knows their plays. Prince is checked in for the Lakers. Reddish comes in for Reeves. Both free throws, good from James. Now White, no points yet. Pass to Brown. Here's Pritchard, takes a three. Rebound, Anthony Davis. Davis has got his fourth rebound in this one. James against Horford. The rebound, Celtics. Here's Pritchard. And a great assist by Brown as that one goes in. Jalen Brown has improved as a setup guy. That pass was on time and on target. Pass to Vincent. Hauled in by Brown. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. James with the block. That size and length and strength. LeBron, a tough one to try to shoot over. To the paint. Prince, the pass to Reddish. Down low. Inside. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Yeah, and you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And he makes a first. Some changes now for the Lakers. Hayes comes in for Anthony Davis. And it's Dinwiddie in for James. Both good from the line that time. 
An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Boston trailing. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Brown. The fader. And it's in. Off the glass. Brown's got 10 points in the game. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Dinwiddie outside. Here's Hayes. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. And the Lakers lead by four. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now here's White. No points so far. Outside, Brown. Five to shoot. It's Hayes with the rebound. Los Angeles has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Here's Prince. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Well, fast off his feet and up at the rim in a hurry. Torian Prince with an easy one. 105 left in the first. Here's Pritchard. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Pritchard's got his second basket of the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. White against Dinwiddie. And finished off by Hayes. And it's so hard to stop the putback when you let him live at the rim like that. Boy, once he gets his hands on it around the rim, it's too late. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Boston with the ball, following the score by the Lakers and the basket by Brown. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. The Lakers in the lead. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Denwitty. He hits the back iron and sinks it. Yeah, their aggressive approach on the offensive glass has created second chance opportunities. Brown inside. Reddish covering. Pass to Prince. Horford with a steal. Here's Pritchard. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Lakers. He put together 10 points in the quarter. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Well, their length and anticipation reflected in their shot blocking totals, making the extra effort to close things out. We've got a lot of game left, but boy, they are doing a tremendous job on the offensive glass. And there are so many big men that can bring the ball up now, Doris. It's changed how teams get into their offenses. Well, B.A., what coaches will tell you is they are getting to a place where you have to have five guys who can hurt you offensively. The bigs being able to take a rebound and get it up quickly in transition does one huge thing. That creates mismatches, something teams always are on the lookout for. And so in the game for Los Angeles, D'Lo and Reeves are the backcourt duo. Rui Hachimura is out there with Hayes. And it's Prince in at the three. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. The Lakers are trying to get back in contention. LeBron James said, we want to win at the highest level. Setting records or passing greats in a losing effort has never been in my DNA. That's never mattered unless it was all about winning. Brian, they're still trying to translate his individual greatness into another title. Yeah, that's the goal. All right, Allie, thank you. Here's Prince. Following the bucket by the Celtics. Shot from the top of the key. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. 
Well, it's not just Torian Prince's defense that makes him an impactful player. This guy understands how to play in pick and roll. What a nice job. Here's Pritchard. Outside Tatum. Pass to Hauser. Here's Pritchard. Let's it go. It's Hayes with the rebound. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Hachimura, the pass to Prince. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed pass. And now it's an eight-point Laker lead. Boy, gets the bucket through the contact. Torian Prince, he earned every bit of that one. The drive by Holiday. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That's good from Holiday. You know, one thing you got to love about Drew Holiday is he's a true two-way player in this league. He puts in a lot of work to make a big impact on both sides of the floor. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Los Angeles. James comes in for Prince. He's perfect from the line this time. Closing in on two minutes played here in the second. Here's Reeves. Pass to Davis. Russell deciding where to go with it. Pulls it from the top of the key. Rebound Boston. You got to move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. And they should, because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Here's Pritchard. Now Porzingis from the arc. Boston no good that time either. <laughs> and lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Ooh. Well, that's a nice pass from D'Angelo Russell. And to me, this is what you want to see, him growing and growing as a playmaker. Now here's Holiday. He has seven. Outside Porzingis. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Russell. On the wing, Holiday. And he buries that one. Back rim and in. Holiday's got four points now in the quarter. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. They're fresh off a win against the Pelicans. And we all know that on the road, you don't usually look so comfortable on the offensive end. But that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions. And that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Here's a look at some stats for Jason Tatum. 
and he's taken a small step back offensively. He really hasn't been the same this month as he was earlier on. He's lacking the intensity he had. He needs a new mindset and stop being passive and play with more aggressiveness. Davis finds Achimura. James outside. Davis from long range. Holiday grabs the miss. And it's Holiday with the ball for Boston. They've only given up six here in this quarter. And play stops. A whistle there on what looks like an illegal screen. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's Russell. Puts it up from 12. Trained it for two points. Russell's got his second bucket on the night. You can see what a gifted player and scorer D'Angelo Russell is. Defense doesn't deter him. Stolen by Russell. Hachimura with the ball. Porzingis picks him up defensively. Here's Davis. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Porzingis 7-3 says not here and not now. The Celtics have gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. And here's Holiday. Nine points in the game. Offensive rebound. Another shot. Davis with the defensive effort. Los Angeles has gone 3 of 6 from deep so far. Great D that time from Porzingis. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Outside Holiday. Out to the wing. Pritchard, the pass to Tatum. Just five on the clock. Hey, Tatum getting it done inside. Well, there's a mix of strength and agility that Jason Tatum is taking advantage of. Nice work in there. Well, the past few years, Jason Tatum has made a concerted effort to attack the rim. B.A., he has gotten stronger. He has gotten more aggressive. Even with his offhand, Tatum is now special at finishing around the rim. You love this about him. He methodically attacks his weaknesses in order to become complete. The ability to sustain productivity over the entirety of his career. LeBron James is a modern marvel. Here's Pritchard. Holiday from long range. Rebound, Anthony Davis. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Pass to James. Back to Davis. Now James. Hachimura with the ball. They get it again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Lakers lead by 12. The effort, the position, the timing, all there. And add instincts to that. He can sense where the rebound's going to go. Now here's Holiday. He's got nine. Hauser passes to Pritchard. Outside Holiday. Releases. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got his seventh rebound here tonight. The ball's knocked loose. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. And let's look at the Western Conference standings as the playoffs approach. You take a look at the Lakers. Currently eighth in their conference. They're hoping to keep that playoff spot. When I look at the Lakers, they failed to deliver the great season people were hoping for. But it's far from hopeless. Plenty of time to turn things around for them. It's an amazing thing. If you can get a couple of wins, generate some momentum, you've got to believe they'll be just fine. White, he's checked in for Pritchard. Outside White. Oh, through contact. White gets the finish. Oh, that is impressive stuff from Derek White. Defender in his grill, no problem to the paint. Here's Davis. The shot misses. Good D by Porzingis. 
Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Tatum passes to White. On the wing, Holiday. Up and over, Russell. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist by White. White's got three assists now in this one. The Lakers have gotten seven shots out of 14 attempts in the second quarter. And he lobs it up. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Here's Tatum. Rejected by James. Good job hitting the glass. They're plus eight in rebounding. Hachimura, the pass to Russell. Pass to Davis. To the inside. Four on the clock. The three. It's hauled in by White. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Anthony Davis. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle as Derek White did there. Well, if we want to talk about Derek White for a moment, he's become such an effective defender, Grant. Yeah, you know, B.A., he's got a great mix of awareness and ability. Just an exceptional quickness that allows him to be a disruptor at that end. And the first one at the line is good. <laughs> They've been impeccable from the line here in the second period. Doing what they can to try to build some momentum. Some changes for Boston. Tillman's checked in for Porzingis. Al Horford comes in for Tatum. And it's Brown in for Hauser. Reddish is checked in for Los Angeles. Vincent comes in for Russell. Both shots good from the strike. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross-positional defender. A guy who can contribute to a good team. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, night in and night out, sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? And time for us to check in on the NBA assist leaders over the last 10 games. LeBron James, number one. He's making a lot of friends with the way he's been moving the ball, setting up his teammates nicely in their favorite spots. The Lakers in the lead. Outside Davis. Back to Reeves. To the middle. James Strong inside. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. 
And so Holiday will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Pass to White. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That one's good. White's got six here in the quarter. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by White. Reeves, the pass to James. The rebound, Celtics. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about his work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And the more Davis has added muscle during his career, it really has helped him on the offensive end. It forces defenses to foul him. First free throw is good. And the Lakers with some changes. Hayes is checked in for LeBron. And Prince is subbed in for Reeves. And that's good as he hits both shots. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Outside Holiday. Pass to Horford. Brown with it. White with it. He has six. Trying their best to catch up. Can't fault their performance from the line, especially this quarter. And he knocks down the first one. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. Denwitty, he's checked in for Davis. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Now here's Dinwiddie. Right now contributing around ten and a half points a game. Pass to Hayes. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. For Boston, they've gone six of 14 in the second quarter. Wow, gutsy finish inside by Brown. Well, I tell you what, speaks to the toughness of Jalen Brown. That frame is strong. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Allie, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Oh, okay. We see you, Jalen. Strong in traffic. 
you see an illustration of how well Jalen Brown understands their system. He's got great command of this offense. Dinwiddie, no good. Ugh, he forced that one. Not a productive trip up the floor. And in a way, by taking that one, he's bailing out the defense. It's just too easy to stop. Now here's Holiday. 11 points in the game. Outside White. There's the triple. The Lakers with a rebound. Hayes has got his fifth rebound in this one. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Here's Reddish. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Boston trailing. Outside Holiday. Outside Brown. Shoots. Rebounded by the Lakers. Prince, the pass to Vincent. 103 left in the second period. Two points. That one goes. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Six point game. Vincent grabs a miss. And for the Lakers, their shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Pass to Dinwiddie. Now Hayes. 35 seconds left to play in the first half of basketball. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Dinwiddie. Hayes inside. He's against Tillman. The three from Prince. Jalen Brown with a rebound. Brown's got four rebounds now. Pass to Horford. Shoots over Dinwiddie. And there's Horford on the assist from Brown. I tell you, for a big man, what a beautiful stroke Al Horford has. The jumper is wet. Unable to get that one. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Lakers ahead, up four. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hi, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 14 points, six rebounds, and one assist. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. The bench scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy and they were able to give the starters a real break because of the way they perform. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from their second unit. And over to Shaq now. Your take on the Celtics. Fellas, just a total lack of effort on the boys. I'm not getting technical because I never really do. This is all about heart. Wanting the ball. Hunting the rebounds. If they were better in that area, they'd probably be winning this game. I'm just saying. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Jalen Brown having a dominant impact in this game. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And part of that has to do with this mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. The Lakers in the lead. White and Brown are the two and the three. Chris stops Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the one. Wow! LeBron making some noise. LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. 
There's the AT&T 5G slam cam capturing the moment. Russell against Holiday. Here's Brown. Plenty of space. Davis with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number eight here already in the game. Pass to Reeves. Russell with the ball. He's covered by Holiday. Let's it fly. And the sweet roll that time on the rim. That one falls. Russell's got nine. The Celtics shooting a solid 47%. Now Holiday. Second half getting started. About a minute play. And Davis with the block. They get it back. Tatum with it. And Davis picks him up defensively. Tries again. Clock at two. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. He's got nine. With good defense on you, you've got to stay locked to the rim. Jason Tatum does just that. Russell against Holiday. Pass to Achimura. Shoots over Brown. And it's Achimura missing. For Boston, they've gone just one of three in the second half. Outside White. Let's it go from 14. The Lakers with a rebound. Davis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. All right, time now to pick it up. You're one for four, and you certainly don't want to give your opponent momentum. Yeah, the complete package is AD. Had the defense's attention and found the open man. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Here's White. Give him eight. Pass to Porzingis. The three is up. The Lakers with a rebound. They held a 12-point lead earlier. James passes to Davis. And Porzingis with the block. Second half of play here with just under two and a half minutes passed. And here's Brown for three. Big hit from outside. Jalen Brown. You know, Jalen Brown is now so legit from deep, boy. You better make sure you're contesting that three ball. That's how good he is. Pass to Davis. Down low. Here's Russell. That one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got his fourth assist in this one. Boston has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. And the Celtics call time here. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. <laughs> That'll drive your coach nuts. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now.
All right, now a chance to examine the rebounding numbers over the past few months for Al Horford. And the last couple of months, the rebounding totals have taken a bit of a dive for him. Let's see if he can refocus and put more effort on the glass. And here's Holiday. He's got 11. Up top, Brown. Outside Tatum. The three ball. Hachimura with a rebound. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Knocked loose. Tatum against James. The best offensive players in the league get to the free throw line consistently. This is where you're starting to see growth from Jason Tatum. Wanting the contact, inviting the contact. The first one falls. Well, what's impressive to me about Jason Tatum is how he attacks his weaknesses in the offseason. This guy is committed to greatness. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. So one for two that time at the stripe. Los Angeles shooting has been excellent in the third quarter at 57%. Here's Reeves. He's guarded by White. Reeves, the pass to Russell. And out of bounds. Boston will have it. Looking at the 2K leaderboard, here are the teams that have been consistently dominant on the offensive end of the floor over the last month. Los Angeles, second. You know, offensively, people are moving without the ball, making the extra pass, and that's led to a high shooting percentage for them, really, over the last month. Outside, Brown. 4-3. That shot off the mark. Yeah, you know, he usually makes you pay from that range. Davis, the pass to Russell. From down in the low post, it goes. Russell's got six points in the quarter. So creative with the basketball in his hands. You can see D'Angelo Russell's understanding improving over time. That's nice. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Russell. They kick it out to Porzingis. From downtown. Oh, the deep ball from Porzingis. When Porzingis is knocking down that three-point shot consistently, it opens up other aspects of his game. Tatum against James. Into the lane. And finished off by Davis. And you love how effortless Davis makes this look. Rising up for an alley-oop like it's nothing. Tatum passes to Porzingis. He can't get it to go. Excellent D there from Davis. And they've committed to controlling the boards. And it's paying dividends. On the break, Jalen Brown. Back-to-back -back threes, making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. James passes to Reeves. Back to James. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. Shoots over Brown. And the Lakers tack on two more. Such a very consistent in-between shooter. The defense can't afford to let Hachimura get separation. Tatum passes to Porzingis. And here's Brown for three. Rebounded by the Lakers. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Reeves. Pass to James. Outside Davis. Russell with the ball. Let's go with a three. That 
one falls. Coming off Davis' feed. Davis has got five assists tonight. Whoa, sizzling from the field this half, and that's after a shaky start. White, the pass to Pritchard. Up top, Tatum. Three-pointer. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Shot is good by Reeves. And now an 11-point Laker lead. Uh, LeBron James always surveying the floor. Few players in the history of the game have the court vision that LeBron has. There's Tatum with the three. JT for three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Timeout called the Lakers. And as the coaches draw up their strategies, the players staying hydrated with some Gatorade. That's key to keeping them at their best all the way up to the buzzer. It really is. And every one of those players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Prince is checked in for Los Angeles. Vincent comes in for Reeves. From the inbound. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. You can't let Davis get established positioning inside. If he does, you have to foul him. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. And that one misses. That one misses. Uncharacteristic trip to the line for him. Just lost his feel on those shots. Here's Prince. And Porzingis with the block. Out of bounds as Los Angeles keeps possession. Hayes is checked in for the Lakers. Goes up off the inbound. And finished off by Hayes. When you watch Torrey and Prince play, you know it's about team. This guy finds the open man and loves delivering it. Brown with it. He's got 22. Three-pointer. And the Celtics another three. Here in the second half, they're really focused on stretching the floor. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. Russell against Porzingis. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Tatum looking it over. Over Prince. The Lakers with a rebound. Hachimura's got four rebounds in the game. Pass to Russell. Good. And he's hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Now here's Tatum. 13 points in the game. Brown, no good. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that opening. Pass to Prince. Back to Russell. Now here's Hayes. Here's Vincent.
Prince against Tatum. Clock at six. Prince can't hit. And so it's Porzingis with it. He brings it up for Boston. Here's Tatum. And the layup is good off the glass. Tatum's got 15 points. Plays like that, so easy for him. Outside Russell. Shoots off the step back. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Pass to Tatum. That's good. That's now his seventh made field goal in 15 tries. The more Porzingis proves himself a threat as a passer, the more dangerous he can become as a scorer. Here's Vincent, defended by Brown. And they call an illegal screen here. And here are some point guards who have been very hot from beyond the arc this year. Drew Holiday, third. And, of course, D'Angelo Russell. And over the years, we have really seen the point guard position evolve. Give these guys a whole bunch of credit. I mean, what a great group of long-range shooters. You know, and having that element of long-range shooting ability makes them a tough puzzle for defenders to solve. You know, it's an invaluable asset for a point guard, and these players have it in a big-time way. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Russell. Porzingis. Porzingis punishing inside. They've been aggressive during this run, but they've also played under control. I think the communication on offense is working at every level right now. What a run for this group. Now Russell. 18 points for him. The shot no good. Good D by Porzingis. Boston on offense. They're on a 12-4 run. Prince against Tatum. Poke loose. And they're on the break. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Here's Porzingis. He's got seven. To the paint. To the middle. To the inside. Inside. To the middle. Pass to Horford. Porzingis passes to Horford. Horford gets it done inside. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Outside Russell. Now Achimura. 144 left in the third quarter here. Shoots over Horford. And again, the Lakers, no good. Boy, he's definitely covered well there. And hey, we know he can knock down the fadeaway shot. Just didn't fall there. And they've been producing at a high level. No question. They're in a nice rhythm offensively. This is the thing about Kristaps Porzingis. He has both size and skill. A high percentage play right there. He misses the free throw. Boy, if there's one big man who exemplifies the evolution of size in the NBA, it's KP. Kristaps Porzingis can stretch the floor. He can get out and run in transition. It's a combination you almost have to have. The Celtics making a switch here. Holiday is checked in. Reddish is checked in for Los Angeles. Dinwiddie comes in for Russell.
That's off as well, so he misses both. They've been dominating the boards today, yet it's still a close game. To stop the drought. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's on Drew Holiday. First one falls for him. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Tatum. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Boston trailing. Hauser passes to Tillman, and here's Holiday. Oh, it's no good! That would have tied it! And the Lakers shooting around 50% in the game so far. That one is off. Nice D from Horford. And it's a Celtics ball. They're on a 14-5 run. Here's Brown. Brown cashes in. A terrific finisher inside. Well, that's where you use your athleticism and agility if you're Jalen Brown navigating to a high percentage look. Pass to Prince. And he drops it in from the low post. Prince has got eight points. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Holiday taking his time here. Here's Hauser, reddish covering. Here's Hauser. Drops in the layup for two. Hauser's gotten his second bucket. That's ten straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. It's Denwitty on the wing. Defended by Brown. Denwitty gets the bucket. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. And that one's good. Brown's got 13 in the second half. Yeah, he shot the ball well enough to keep his team even. Let's see if together they can elevate past that. Here's Denwitty. Shoots over Brown. And some nice defense there to end the quarter. Well, this is how Al Horford gets it done as a rim protector. His anticipation and his positioning are exceptional. It's been all about Jalen Brown for Boston. A tremendous offensive output. He's got 29 tonight. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. And so in the game for the Lakers... It's LeBron at power forward with A.D. as the center. Then it's Austin Reeves. Then there's Cam Reddish. And it's Dinwiddie in at the point. And Davis with the block. James outside. 
Davis against Holiday. Outside Davis. Pass to James. It's Dinwiddie on the wing. Outside Reddish. Shot clock at five. Blocked! That's anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. Davis against Holiday. Here's Hauser to take the lead. LeBron with the rebound. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. And finished off by Davis. A great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Pass to Hauser. Horford with it. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute played. Here's White with the drive. Oh, how about White? Gets all the way to the cup. Nice. Well, Derek White showing you I can put it on the deck and finish off a pretty drive. Nicely done, Derek. Dinwiddie against Holiday. Outside Reddish. Back to Dinwiddie. Lays it up and banks it in. And the Lakers lead by two. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Holiday up top. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Stolen by Davis. Elbow shot. And who else? LeBron with the finish. Oh, the athleticism and the speed of James in the open floor never ceases to impress. He is just a beast at finishing these fast break opportunities. Horford against James. Here's Hauser. Back to Horford. Pass to White from outside the arc. Three-pointer goes up. Three-pointer goes down for White. Yeah, on the catch-and-shoot game, Derek White, very assertive, ready to react. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Dinwiddie. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Free throw good, Dinwiddie. And some changes here for the Celtics. Kristaps Porzingis comes in for Tillman. And it's Jason Tatum in for Hauser. And the Lakers also making a change. Russell is checked in. Both free throws good for Dinwiddie. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Holiday with the ball. Takes it inside, to the inside. Outside Tatum. Let's it go from deep. Davis with a rebound. Davis is 
The Lakers have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. James outside. Pass to Davis. Over Porzingis. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. Hey, I believe that sometimes good offense is better than good defense. And Davis uses his it factor to outduel his opponent. Outside Tatum. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Rebound by the Lakers. James has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Always willing to embrace contact. LeBron James has the kind of frame that can absorb it any time. And he drops a first. And the Lakers making a change here. Achimura's checked in. Both free throws good from James. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Now here's Holiday. Outside Tatum. Outside Holiday. Pass to Porzingis. Five on the clock. Shoots over Davis. And that one's good. Porzingis. I'll tell you, he's been much better in the second half. He's taking smarter shots. He's looking more comfortable. And guess what? He's in a groove. Davis down low, defended by Porzingis. And I'll tell you what, with his polished guard-like skills, Davis does damage on those dribble drives. Holiday against Russell. Now Holiday. Outside White. Some solid defense from James. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth. Pass to Achimura. That shot off. Nice D from Tatum. Boston's gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. On the wing, Holiday. 